In this short video, we will show you how to operate your digital mug press. Your mug press can image both water bottles and mugs. By default, the mug element is installed on your heat press. If you wish to image a water bottle, please refer to our Switching a Heating Element video. After the press has been plugged into the power socket, turn the power on by flicking the switch on the right hand side of the press. You will see the LED panel light up. Press mode once to set the idle temperature. Use the right and left arrows to increase or lower the temperature. The set light is lit to indicate you're setting the idle temperature. After idle temperature has been set, press mode again. Set your press temperature. Both the set and temperature light are lit to indicate you are setting the press temperature. Next, press the mode button again to set your time. The time light is lit to indicate you are setting the time. Once you have set the time, press mode again to confirm your settings. You will see the temperatures slowly rising on the LED screen. When neither the temperature, set, or time light is on, the temperature reading on the LED screen is the current temperature of the mug press. When the press is at the idle temperature, gently slide the mug into the press and adjust the pressure. Turn the knob clockwise to loosen the pressure and counterclockwise to tighten. When the pressure is adjusted, close the press and press the square button. A flashing set light indicates that the press is heating up to the press temperature. Once the press has reached the press temperature, it will start counting down the time. Once that happens, you will see the time light flashing. After reaching zero, the press will beep. Gently open your mug press and remove the mug. Then press the square button again to stop the process. Giotto's digital mug press consistently produces even heating and pressure across the element, resulting in high image quality. Giotto has five locations for fast and cost-effective delivery. For more information on this and other products, please visit giottopaper.com.